This video is a brief introduction to propositional logic. Propositional logic is the basis for reasoning from statements that are true or false to other statements that are true or false. And it also provides the basic structure that we use in designing circuits. We'll explore the circuit design, some of the circuit design issues in class. So let's get going. A proposition is a statement that is true or false. So lots of English statements are not true or false, but some examples of propositions are the network is available or the loop will terminate after five iterations. Both those statements can be either are either true or false. Some examples of things that are not propositions are an imperative statement like you should go to the store or an interrogative statement like why is the sky blue? So in order to do propositional logic, um, what we're going to do is create an algebra-like terminology. And so the first thing we need are what are called propositional variables. Propositional variables are just symbols that represent propositions. They're exactly like the Boolean variables that I'm sure you've run into in programming languages, and they take on the values true or false. Propositional variables are usually written using the symbols P, Q, and R. So now that we have variables and their values, true and false, what we need in order to have what's called an abstract data type is the operators that will act on them. This will allow us to formally reason about the truth or falsity of propositional variables. So the operations, the operators of propositional logic are very similar to those that you've run across in programming languages. The AND or the conjunction operator, and it's specified using truth tables. So here's an example of a truth table, and you can see you've got two propositional variables, P and Q, and then you've got the result, P and Q. So notice that the operator and, the conjunction operator, is true only when both P is true and Q is true. Otherwise, it's false. The next operator you've also run into is disjunction or the OR operator. And that's shown in this truth table. Um, now, this operator is true if either P or Q is true. And it's only false if both P and Q are false. So something that's important to notice here is how the variables are set up in the truth table, how they vary. So notice P varies slowly, and then Q varies more quickly. That's not that important um, in this case where we only have two variables. But later on, when we have three, four more variables, it will be important that we systematically be able to write down the values for P and Q so we know that we get all the values and don't miss any of them. The next operator, the NOT operator, is also an operator that you've seen before. And this one's really simple. All it does is change the sense of the value. So if P is true, then NOT P is false. If P is false, then NOT P is true. The next operator, the implies or the implication operator, or the conditional operator, is a little bit trickier. And you probably haven't seen this one before. The, if you look at the truth table values, if P is true and Q is true, then P implies Q is true. That makes sense. Um, if P is true and Q is false, then it makes sense that P does not imply Q. Right, because you'd expect if P implies Q, then of course if P were true, then Q should be true. It's the next two lines that sometimes give people a little bit of pause. Namely, if P is false, then P implies Q is true. It doesn't matter what the value of true is. The point is that because P is false, you really can't say anything. You have no evidence at all that P does not imply Q. So we are going to assume um, that P does imply Q. And you'll see why later 
uh, go into this a little bit more detail. But for now, the thing to do is make sure that you really un memorize this table. And make sure you understand the only time that P implies Q is false is when P is true and Q is false. The biconditional is basically the implication operator going both directions. So it basically says P if and only if Q. And the way to read, think about that is P is true if and only if Q is true. And this is the truth table for the biconditional operator. And it's really pretty simple to understand it. Both P and Q are true. Then P if and only if Q is true. And if both P and Q are false, then P if and only if Q is true. Otherwise, it's false. So this was just a quick overview of the basics of the values associated with propositional logic and their operators. What you need to do at this point is read the assignment in the text and also go through and make sure that you can build the truth tables for each one of the operators. Um, and you should be able to answer questions like the following. So I'd suggest either reviewing the video or reading the text and then coming back and making sure that you can answer these questions. Give an example of a statement that's not a proposition. What's the value of P or Q if P is false and Q is true? What's the value of P and Q? Um, Etc. And make sure you know all those truth tables for these operators. These are the kinds of questions that you'll see on the quiz.